Guardian from this morning, 14 pages. Julian believes that if you overthrow secrecy in the world, you will overthrow the corrupt political establishments that are oppressing everybody. We don't see any difference in the White House's response to this case to the other groups that we have exposed. For the internet generation, this is our challenge and this is our time. Over 20 years ago, the Berlin Wall came down, and it marked the end of the Cold War between two superpowers. Now there's a new battle that's being waged for control of information. Its front lines aren't brick and mortar walls, they're firewalls. Its weapons are computers, not missiles. And its warriors, hackers, activists, even anarchists. It's an epic struggle for state secrets between institutions and individuals. And at the center of this war is Julian Assange. My function in WikiLeaks is to take all the heat. The 39-year-old Australian founder of WikiLeaks has risen from obscurity to lead a whistleblowing insurgency. The state has asserted its authority by surveilling, monitoring and regimenting all of us. All the while hiding behind cloaks of security and opaqueness. Armed with a virtual army of volunteers, Assange has taken aim at corporations and nations. The material exposes an extraordinary range of abuses. Exposing secrets that have helped fuel anger and revolt in the Middle East. Drawing the ire of the most powerful government in the world. and galvanizing a global following of cyber warriors ready to fight. We feel obligated to step out in WikiLeaks' defense, because if WikiLeaks goes down, then that leaves very bad implications for the rest of us. A maverick and a game changer, he's also under attack for his own behavior. He's taken aim at his own foot and shot it. Assange actually just arrived at the courthouse. You can see him, and he's going to come uh, right through this, this gated area into the courthouse right now. That's my first glimpse of Julian Assange. This is one of the most intimate portraits yet of Julian Assange. All this lead, how far will his group go? Locations of weapons? Absolutely. For Channel 4 News. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks. Uh, every f***ing gun comes at me. He is... Number Rare, candid moments captured by Australian journalist Mark Davis, who spent months traveling with the enigmatic leader of WikiLeaks. He went from that kind of hobo character, if you like, into a, to a rock star. You followed him for months, um, spending time on the road with him. What, what's he like? I think in private, he's actually a, he's a very charming guy when he relaxes and it comes in flashes you know he has that sort of uh, intense kind of computer nerd sort of mind but when he eases off on that he's very funny droll well, my voice will get sexier and sexier you know as the day goes on. nomadic and secretive like the hero of a spy novel see he's seeing this whole thing as some kind of a i don't know weird james bond kind of thriller he believes that everyone's constantly being tapped and followed. At his core, Assange is a hacker, an outsider mining secrets that are supposed to be off limits. His outsider persona has its roots in an unusual nomadic childhood. This is Magnetic Island, a place of exotic wildlife and untouched beauty off the coast of Australia. A place Julian Assange once called home. But as a boy, he was often on the move. Assange claims he attended 36 different schools. Julian's bohemian mother, Christine, and his stepfather together ran a traveling theater company. I really enjoyed this as a, a child until I was about uh, 10, and then we had a sort of a mixed experience. A life on the move turned into a life on the run. After his mother fled a troubled relationship, there were difficult years. But Assange seems to relish his unconventional childhood. In fact, when I speak to people and they tell me that they spent all their life in some city, I am 
horrified for them. And, and you think, oh, you poor thing. I mean, how, how did you survive? Eventually, Julian and his mother settled outside of Melbourne. I had a horse. Um, you know, I sold this horse and, and bought a computer. And I was fascinated. For Assange, it becomes a portal into an entirely new world. He joins a group of hackers known as International Subversives. And under the screen name Mendax, he begins to tap into top secret networks, including the Pentagon. By the time he was 20, Assange was a sophisticated computer hacker. Uh, this was before there was public access to the internet. Um, this was an incredibly intellectually degrading thing to go out and explore the world with your mind. But authorities would eventually bust the young Assange. In 1991, he was charged with 31 counts of hacking and related crimes. After a lengthy legal battle, he walked away with only a fine. But he had caught a glimpse inside a hidden world. To read General's emails at the Pentagon, this of course was an incredible thrill. That fascination would grow into a mission to change the world. The times we are going through at the moment constitute a generational challenge. A mission that would expose some of America's most closely guarded secrets. 